Hi honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. I'm getting ready to bake a banana cream cheese pound cake and I will have some batter left over so I'll be using a box cake mix also for a separate cake. So these are the pants I'll be using. I love Nordic wear pants. So I forgot what this one is called. Brilliance. I think it's called Brilliance. It's like that. It's heavy. And I'll be using this one. Uh, what is this cup? Crown. This is the crown bunt cake pan. Okay. So with these kind of pans, you need to use a cooking, a baking spray with flour. So I'll be using Baker's Joy. I always have good results using this. So I'm going to spray the insides of the pans good, and then I'm going to use this to evenly distribute everything inside all those nooks and crannies. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'll be using. Okay, for my banana cream cheese pound cake, I'm not using bananas, I'm using banana extract. But I'll be using almost three cups of cake flour. I usually use swans down, but I couldn't find it, so this works too. Soft as silk. So I already measured out. It's about two and three fourths cup of cake flour. And I, I don't ever sift my flour. Okay, I'm using three cups, three full cups of granulated sugar. I'll be using six eggs. These are supposed to be large eggs, y'all. They're not large, but I'm going to use six eggs. I'll be using an eight ounce block of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'll be using two sticks of butter. I've used salted and unsalted. Both of these are unsalted. Two sticks of butter and one stick of margarine. It adds a special something. I'll be using how much is in here? About a tablespoon of banana extract, or maybe more. And this is what I love. It adds a special flavor. About um, not quite a tablespoon of imitation vanilla, butter, and nut flavoring. This is really, really good. And that's it. So, I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar together. So, I'm not going to have y'all watch me unwrap all this stuff. But that's what I'll be doing now. Let me push this back. And I'll be using my KitchenAid stand mixer. And I've had this maybe 30 years. Maybe. It's older than some of my kids. Okay, so I'll be back. And let me show you how I I sprayed the pans. They're prepared. I always prepare the pans. So the pans are prepared. You all can't see. I have the oven turned to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And the cakes will cook for about, I'm going to check them after an hour. Sometimes it takes an hour, 25 minutes, but I'll have to check them. So I'll be back. Okay, at this point, my sugar and my butter and my cream cheese is all creamed together. So I'm going to add my eggs, one at a time.
to an eggshell down there. Okay. I don't want the shell. Okay. So if you should ever accidentally get eggshells in your cake batter, don't worry about it. After it's done, after it's cooled and you flip the cake, the eggshell will be on the bottom of the cake. And you just pick it off. Don't ask me how I know. At this point, I'm going to add in the flavoring. The imitation vanilla butter and nut. If you got um, real vanilla, you know that's always good. And this is kind of yellow. I'm going to add a little more because this adds a special flavor. And no, it will not taste like nuts. It's just good. Okay. And I'm going to add the banana extract. Pure banana extract. The same one so I don't dirty up all this stuff. This is a teaspoon oh, measure. Three teaspoons equal one tablespoon. This why is this leaking? What is going on here? This costs too much to be leaking. And I use four teaspoons. They're leaking. Okay, blend that. Now I'm gonna add the flour. You see, I didn't add any liquid. And this will make the best cake, pound cake. Let me put this. Oh, I ain't through with that. Okay, let me uh, stop it. I'm going to add a little flour. Just add a little flour at a time so flour doesn't go all over the kitchen. And I don't feel like being white today. Where is he? There's nobody. flour. This is almost three cups of flour. The recipe calls for three cups but I found that using a little less than three cups makes a better cake in my opinion. You don't want to overwork your flour. When I add the last flour then I scrape the sides. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna scrape the sides. Raise this and scrape everything. The beaters. When I first started making this pound cake, I had burned out six small um, hand mixers in a year. So I said, let me get the KitchenAid stand mixer and I think back then it cost a lot more than it costs now so this was my pride and joy I think it was the most expensive thing in the house at the time <laughs> for real
taste this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna finish scraping everything and then I'll show you how I put it in the pan. Okay, so you don't see the pan. I'm gonna put, hold, <clears throat> hold this little thing on the bottom of the bowl so I can control the bowl. I'm using the rubber spatula and I'm gonna put it, and this is a 12 cup um, pound cake batter. So I think this pan is only it's not 12 cups, so I'm not going to put all this batter in this pan. Else I will be sorry. Um, I'm all in y'all's face. And I can't, y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'm only going to fill this pan three fourths full. Turn the pan around. Oh, let me see <coughs> how much I got left. I got this much batter left. That's a lot. This is ready for the oven. I'm going to wait until I get both of them ready for the oven. I'll let this sit over here. Now I'm going to add some Throwing away my batter. Okay, I'm gonna add <clears throat> a little of my pink cake mix and maybe two eggs. That's what I'm using. I'm going to give my friend the real pound of cake. This is what I decided to use. The Butter Golden Cake Mix. I'm going to put all of it in here. So of course I'll be making probably cupcakes also. I'm adding it to my pound cake mix. I'm not going to follow the recipe on the box. I'm adding two eggs. I'm just dumping everything. 
and a little, little milk, almond milk. I don't know how much. Okay. Mix this. sides I don't want no more rude comments about don't I know how to make another kind of cake. I've gotten them before. So I like banana cream cheese pound cake. So that's what I make whenever I bake a cake. So. I'm getting rid of the rude comments. Okay. No, oh, don't need no flavor. Just need to be beat a little more. Remember which cake is in which pan. Okay. So my way. This pan. Fill this up three quarters full. This is goodness here.
I put a dish towel here so I don't mess up the finish of this beautiful gold pan. I'm beating out the, what you call it, air bubbles. Okay, these are ready for the oven. And the oven has been preheating for a while now. It looks like more can fit in here, but I don't want to chance it. So I will be back. Hey y'all, my daughter just came in here. She brought me some buffalo wings. It had fries too. But she's gonna give those to the baby. The ones that don't have the sauce on it. These wings are really, really, really good. Okay, let me show you. I got my two cakes in the oven. And I had this many cupcakes. I got these in the Kasori air fryer oven. There's 10 cupcakes, so I'm waiting on them to cook. I'll be back when the cakes are done. Are done. Let me get my eat on. Okay, I just took the cakes out the oven. This is the real pound cake, and this is the one with the cake mix in it. I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then uh, unmold them. And these are the cupcakes. And I had one. Oh my goodness. It tastes just like my pound cake. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm getting ready to make the, the glaze. I don't measure. I'm just going to dump some powdered sugar in here. This is regular part powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. Okay. I want the glaze to be kind of thick so it'll look pretty. This is about a cup and a quarter of powdered sugar. Put in a teensy tiny bit of milk. You all see? And just stir. I want it thick. Now if I find that it's too thin, I'll just add more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, I'll add more milk. And beat it until it's smooth. I'm just using a fork. Don't want no lumps in it. Cause this is going to be on top of the cake. Scraping the sides. Trying to see, do I want to add some flavor? This is a little too thin. And this will be a uh, hardened glaze on top of the cake. I'm add a little more sugar. That's the consistency I want. A couple more minutes, I'll unload the cakes. You know, this powder off of here. It looks smooth to me. I'll be back. Okay, my timer went off. 
I'm going to unmold the cakes. It's been 10 minutes. Okay, I can shut up now. And these pans are hot. Okay. Okay, got this cardboard circle. Let me see. It's too hot to handle. He's too bulky. Should have had handles on this pet, this um, cake pan. I do have one with handles on it. It's the regular bunch shape. Hello. Come up clean. So hot. the um, butt pan better it has handles it's easier to grip okay okay this is how this released wait for these cool a bit and then I put them in the sink let the water run on okay this is the one to cake mix this is the real pound cake. I'm going to let them cool before I put the glaze on them. And I will be back. This is the Dollar Tree cake thing. Gwen's cake in a, a cake box. Cool. I want to put this 
stuff on here now and be through with it. Cakes are so rich. This is all you need, a little light glaze. Okay. Don't you come in here, little boy. Hey, the oven is hot. Don't let him touch that. It is hot. It. Well, it'll burn his little hands. It's not warm. It's cold off quick. Okay. Come on. You see the cake? Don't need he to. The don't need to make some more delays for this. Yeah. The cake is good enough as it is. Okay, I'll be back, y'all. Okay, I'm done with my cakes, y'all. There's the cake I'm going to take to the lady who just lost her son. It's a banana cream cheese pound cake with a thin glaze. And that's, that's glaze in the center. And here's the cake we're going to keep at home. This is half banana cream cheese pound cake and half box cake. And these are the cupcakes I made. So I had some stuff left over. And boy, are they good. So I need a thumbnail. Without being in my own light. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching. Give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the evening. What time is it? It's 4.04 p.m. on, what's today? Monday? On Monday. Okay, y'all be blessed. Bye. Okay, I guess y'all want to see me slice the cake. Y'all still can't see. Let me lower this. I just thought of it. Because I'd be wanting to see the inside of people's cakes. Let me lower this. Okay. My pound cakes are usually bigger than this when I use another pan. Want all my stuff out of here.
Look at that. This is the half box cake, and half pound cake. And good. It can pass for a pound cake. Mm. This little, little bit of glaze on here is just enough. Because the cake is so moist and rich. milk mm. okay I'm gone for real now this is what it looks like mm -mm -mm. okay y'all be blessed bye